Promise y'all the vlog era is back. Raw and unchopped, uncircumcised. I'm in my Vegas life. I kind of feel like I live a couple different lives. My morning was a little boring. I just had coffee, a bunch of like admin stuff. If you guys are anything like me, there's like certain things that like still scare me despite how many times I've done them. Like not scare me, but like give me anxiety. And so I got to just like rip the bandaid. And so Mondays, a lot of times are that opportunity. A lot of like email, admin -y, calling taxes and business franchise board type shit. Um, scary is not the right word, but like intimidates or like it's stuff I don't want to do. And my mother is very wise and she's told me at a very young age, sometimes Michael, we got to do things we hate. Um, and those are the things I hate. So I try to bang all those out Monday. So I just been on the phone with like California Business Bureau, um, a couple lenders, as I've told y'all, I'm moving into real estate. And maybe we'll chat about that today a bit. But I'm going to LA tomorrow, I'm gonna to vlog that. We got some Barbara Brigade talk shows to film with some really strong, dope guests. And it's cool, we've always had cool guests. And I do like interviewing and chatting with people I don't know, but it's uh, also very fun to chat with like friends. And so we have uh, two of the three guests tomorrow are, are friends of mine. I'm in a little shifting new chapter, new book period. You know, the gym is awesome, but it's kind of set up and running itself. Shout out to my team. So a little bit less of my energy and brain power goes there now. Um, and that's why we're diving into real estate investing and seeing what's next. So I bought my house in 2016, 2017, I think 2017, late summer. And I always had a goal to own um, some real estate to allow myself a little bit of passive income. And they say passive, but for those that don't know, nothing in life's truly passive. There's always a little bit of upkeep and work, but there's a difference of having a 40 hour full-time job and running some real estate with a property manager or something like that. It might be a couple hours a week. And that's even like the gym. You know, when I first opened the gym, I was running construction wise, rental wise, 60 hours a week. Then it turned into like 40 or 50 hours a week at the desk. And now, you know, there's about an hour every morning, plus a couple meetings, plus events, or talking to, you know, texts and emails with the team. Um, but it might be like a 20 hour work week or so, uh, 10, 15, to upkeep the gym. The apparel's another probably 10 or 20 for me. The whole idea with real estate is just to, I guess, minimally work? I don't know. I told y'all I sold my car. That was a real shot to the ego, knowing where I am. Um, but it's the sacrifices I must make to get this house stuff working. So I bought my, my house, um, I basically fully own it, and I threw it into an LLC for some protection. And then now the goal is to do a HELOC. So basically you're getting a loan against the value and the equity, which is the amount you own in my house. Um, and the goal with that is to take a little bit of money, the interest rate, Right, what I have to pay to borrow that money um, will be a little bit higher, not only because of where the US is right now, but also a HELOC itself is higher than a traditional loan. Um, and then any loan you get to like make money or a second home is gonna be a higher interest rate than your first and the house you live in, your primary residence. So I'm punching numbers on finding um, deals in the Midwest to have some residential income. So looking at single family homes that I could maybe flip um, with a little bit of work and effort and potentially duplexes, triplexes, quadplexes um, to manage and own and have some folks live in. So that's what a lot of my mornings are. Today was just a couple phone calls and emails with uh, my lender itself, you know, you're just signing a million pieces of paper to give them permission to look into my credit and Passing them all my tax returns for the last three years and kind of that game So that's kind of where we're at the lending is through we got approved, which is really good news for me um, It's something I've struggled with being self-employed for my entire freaking life um, But that makes getting uh, money very hard for some reason the banks think that if you're self-employed It's way sketchier than not which is just proven incorrect and stupid in modern day, right? People are getting laid off left and right. No job is 
um, super safe or secure. Some obviously more than others, but a lot of folks lose their job all the time, right? But for some reason, if you're W-2, they want to give you all these loans. And if you work for yourself and your stuff's a little complicated, they don't want to give you shit. But uh, I found a way. You found a way. And that's the, uh, that is the mantra. You're all in on the goal, all the fuck in on a goal, and I'm moving forward no matter what kind of shows up. Um, and I got to like preach that to myself because I get down, man. I'm an emotional being. So I see like a problem and, it, and the, the problem may be a speed bump, but to my little emotional brain, it feels like the Great Wall of China. And I'm like, well, I'm never going to go around this fucking thing. But you find a way and you turn the Great Wall of China to a speed bump and then you reassure yourself there's going to be another one. doing it so long it feels normal but like uh day trips to la i think the normal folks is kind of crazy but we've been filming with barbara brigade 2024 maybe nine years we've been doing the show and it's looked a little different it started out of bart's house or started in the gym then bart's house in the old office now we're in the jk office but we got some really dope guests today um fun filming always but it's cooler when his friends. So we got a couple friends on the show today. Um, Jamar, Pancake, Brianne, uh, and Jenna, who I've talked to on the internet, but I've never met her. Um, kind of a mix of like medium, old, and young generation powerlifters to chat with me and Bart. We're in the JK studios, which looks insane compared to when I first came here also about maybe 11 years ago. Flew to Long Beach, get these shows done, fly home. I just found out our buddy Nicky Rod's fighting tomorrow. Grappling, I guess. I don't know if they say fighting. But I'm going to try to go grab some tickets and go watch them. If not, I'll watch it on Fight Pass. So that's what I'm doing right now. We're waiting about half an hour. We got Jamar on the way. Checking some Red Bull. I've been craving coffee over energy drinks, which is a rare thing. So maybe we'll grab some later. Have it. You're going to do it. For sure. Right? Everyone avoided doing those things, but I did them more. Do you remember your first, like, max on squat? Did you, like... That's the funny thing. I don't think they let us max on squat the first time. They let us max on, like, bench and uh, trap bar deads. Yeah. And, like, I, I don't know, some other uh, accessory movement, but not on squats for some reason. Crest that job, whatever. Yeah. Because I was doing it. Yeah. And I would, those things are true, but it has nothing to do with anyone else. It's just me telling myself yeah. these things to keep going. If right? you can PR at 4 a.m., you're going to PR at the Nationals. Oh, yeah. yeah, of yeah, course. It's not going to, like, you can do whatever. It's yeah. not going to matter. I will say moving heavy weight in the morning that early is so hard. Yeah, or if it's cold, it you're is. stiff. Yeah. And the older you get, the ladies, be yeah. sexist. they'll be arching and doing uh, the triple backflip. Uh, yeah. But you know, know what I mean, though? I'd and be so, arching them. Yeah, and so so then, you know, they're very technical lifters. Is that the nice way to put it? They're very yeah. technical, yeah. Yeah. skilled, <laughs> elegant bench pressers. So then sometimes the dumbbell suffers. Back from LA. Truth is, bad vlogger. We get a lot of rust to knock off and it's tough when I'm traveling alone um, for work or even just kicking it at home. Check out the Grizz. He's just kicking it. I'm at my desk in Vegas. I got back from LA. You guys saw some clips of the show. Shout out Barbara Brigade. Go check out their channel. Obviously, we release shows all the time and are constantly filming for them and having a lot of fun and cool guests. Um, but yeah, I got to knock the rust off, man. It's hard to whip out my phone sometimes. Uh, in the middle of stuff. So I appreciate you guys. The vlogs are continuing. They're going to get better. Bear with me. We're keeping it raw, unedited, a bunch of bullshit. Point in case, battery just died. I had to run out my backpack, get the next battery. Um, I just want y'all to see what it's like, man. Real life shit. Not steroid, edited, photoshopped, highlight reel. I'm tired. The trip to LA took it out of me. I got back. And then my friend Jen, who's been on the vlogs in uh, over the years, um, trained some high-end clientele. We're talking like A-list celebrities. So she was in town. Um, and rarely do we get to be in the same city at the same time. So she's shit, a celebrity on her own. She was on TV for many, many, many years. Um, and I don't want to put the camera in folks' faces. You know, we didn't get to catch a workout. If we were working out, I'd probably film it. And Jen's the coolest. She wouldn't care. But um, there's just a time and place. And I'm getting that flow back what that time and place is. So 
Um, it's EDC weekend here in Vegas. I might be able to meet some cool friends that are in town for a workout, and we'll film that. Um, but otherwise, that's the vid, man. These videos um, aren't very linear, and the story doesn't feel continuous. And that's bad for vlogging and movies and storytelling. But the truth is, this and that are my life. Um, in between vlogs, in between filming with Barber Brigade, um, I got approved for my HELOC on my house to hopefully go into real estate and flipping a house. Meanwhile, I'm talking to the real estate agent. Meanwhile, we're revamping and rebranding the apparel. And all that work is never in a row. It's like a text here, an email there, and then a text at midnight, and then an email at 5 a.m. And all of them are just keeping these, juggling these balls in the air. So although it's probably not the most entertaining per se for storytelling, it is very telling on my life, and it's very true to my life. So we're going to get better at it. appreciate you guys. Again, maybe one more vlog. I promise Sabas on this trip I'd get a couple, so... Wrapping this one up. The next one might just be gym chilling. A little bit of lifting. Appreciate you guys. I really do.